Hello, I'm Anastasia. Today I will be trying my new electric file Brilliant B100. Here's the technical information. It's manufactured in South Korea by Session. First of all, I would like to mention its modern design. To me, it looks like some smart robot from the future. White color is one of my favorite for electric files, as you cannot really see the dust, unlike on the black surfaces. To turn it on, simply push the button on the side. We have on and off controller for the handpiece here. Switch to the reverse and forward mode. By the way, you don't have to stop it and then switch. You simply click on it, it will stop by itself and then start spinning in the opposite direction. We also have a control of the foot and hand right here. In case you would like working with the foot, you can use the foot controller and use it like accelerator in your car. You can not just only turn on and off, but also adjust the speed. To change the drill bit, simply turn the handpiece until you hear the clicking sound. Remove it, put the drill bit that you like and make sure it's secured. Drill bits are standard here, 3 slash 32. Handpiece is super light and unexpectedly small. I have a large palm and I'm using size L of the gloves, so this handpiece felt a little small to me, but maybe it's just a matter of practice. Manufacturer claims that the handpiece is one of the lightest out there, only 143 grams. Maximum rotation speed here is 30,000 rotations per minute. To control it, you need to simply spin this controller here on top. I love it. It's also nice that you can see the actual speed here on the screen. You can also see the direction of rotation and whether you're using hand or foot controller. Okay, now let's try working with this drill bit. Is it as good and as powerful as it looks or just a stylish toy? Let's find out. I'm filing pink and white acrylic nails and I'm using carbide bit and I have to say it files pretty smooth and easy. I think you can see that. Also performance, of course, it always depends on the quality of the bits, so that's why I just took the bits I normally use. And I can say this drill does feel powerful enough for that. I don't have any problems with filing off the product. I do not feel too much vibration in my hand. So now let's try filing it underneath and file it one more time. So yeah, it does file pretty good. But also I need to mention that these nails, they're not just regular nails. These were actually competition nails and usually they're made thinner than traditional salon nails. That's why we are filing them almost in half, even a little more, so they will be wearable. Um, but I mean, this is probably not something you usually do every day in your salon. We don't do that much of competition thin nails. So I think we need to test drive it on something else, like cube nails. So if you guys are curious how these cube nails are done, I will leave the link in the upper right corner. And well, now we can see it files a bit harder, but these nails are extremely thicker. They are actually very, very thick. Way thicker than you usually do salon nails, but that's because of the shape, you know, it's a cube nail, see? So it doesn't work as smooth on this thickness, and let's actually see if I can do it in one take. Well, almost. Phew, okay. Now let's keep filing. And you know, now on this third nail, I can already feel that the handpiece is heating a little bit. It's not like it's extremely hot that I cannot even hold it, but I can feel it's not 
like it was at the beginning. It's a little bit warmer. Maybe that's just too much for this poor small handpiece, filing this kind of crazy nails. And probably that's also too much of an extreme. Now let's try edge nail, which is also super thick. Usually all extreme shapes, especially edge, cube nails, they're way thicker than something you usually do in the salon. Now let's try filing it from the top. And yes, it does work pretty smooth, but since the handpiece is already warm, I cannot say that it's super comfortable to work with that at the moment. And another interesting issue is that the max speed is 30,000 rotations per minute, because the, normally the drill bit I am using is actually 40. It's not that I'm using it on 35 a lot, but you know, just something I probably just get used to. Okay, now let's file it a little bit more. Now let me show you the actual thickness I was just filing on the cube nails. I mean, this is extreme. So this is how it looks from the edge. And it was probably too much. Anyway, my conclusion is that this drill bit is pretty good for salon nails. It's enough power definitely for it. But for crazy extreme long nails, you might need something a bit more powerful. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Please let me know which is your favorite electric nail file in the comments. If this is your first time on my channel, consider subscribing as I post nail art tutorials and reviews just like this one every week. See you in my next video. Goodbye!